Hi guys! So I wasn't exactly planning to do another manga haul video so soon after my last one, but me and my friend have actually been planning to go check out some of the used bookstores around Denver for a while now, and we did that today and I bought way more than I was expecting to. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to start showing off what I got. Uh, first we have the first Japanese volume of Sailor Moon. And uh, I thought it was cool they had volume one. It's in perfect condition. And uh, I just thought it'd be good Japanese practice. It's for little girls, so it's pretty simple Japanese. Um, I also love the artwork in the Sailor Moon manga. It's really cute and pretty. Next, I got uh, the first omnibus of Cross Game by Mitsuru Adachi, as well as the second one. I've heard good things about this series. I love sports series, especially about baseball. And uh, I'm excited to read it. Um, I found them for a really cheap price, so I'm very happy. Um, and then we have a manhwa. This is volume two of The Royal Palace Go On. And volume three. I already had volume one, of course. And this series is, uh, they actually had all of them. And I just, you know, had to hold myself back from getting all of them at once. But uh, when I'm able to afford it, no doubt, I'll go back and just grab all of them. Because I love this series. It's a, you know, deliciously soapy soap opera. And I love it. Um, and then I got this book that I'm very excited about. Blue by Kiriko Nanana. Uh, this is a Yuri title, actually, and uh, the art in it is gorgeous, very simple, understated, and this is a beautiful release, like, this is so heavy, I can't even show you guys, but... The paper quality is the best I've ever seen in a manga release, hands down. And the cover is just so gorgeous. I can't wait to read this. I'll definitely do a review of it. Um, and I was excited to find it. And then the rest of the books I got are actually from the Second and Charles, one of them, in Denver. Didn't go to the other one because it was kind of out of the way, but definitely need to. <laughs> because I got so much. They had so much manga, and I got so much of it. And I got this cute bag to put it in. Pretty girls read books. Um, the first two things I got are actually soundtracks. Uh, clearly, somebody who is a person after my own heart donated, or sold these to Second and Charles because they are the soundtrack to Revolutionary Girl Usina. And the soundtrack to Mawaru Penguin Drum. Two Ikuhara series that I adore so much. And I'm so happy to have these. I already had two of the soundtracks of Utena, but this has way more of the music on it. So, yeah. That's cool. And then next I got... Uh, what a Wonderful World, Volume 1 by oh, this side, by Inio Asano. Uh, I've mentioned before that I'm trying to collect more of Asano's works, and this was like four dollars, so I got it. And I'm eager to read it. I think there's only like two of these. Um, so I'm very eager to read that. Next, I got volume one of Dawn of the Arcana. Volume 2, 
and volume three. Uh, I have the final volume somewhere, but this is a really good series. Uh, I never see anybody talking about it, but um, it's very much in the vein of Yona of the Dawn or the Twelve Kingdoms, um, that type of series. Very strong-willed, red-haired protagonist here. Um, I find that this character, Loki, is extremely interesting and nuanced um, in particular, but I also love the romance between, uh, what's her name? Nakaba, it's her, and Caesar, who she is betrothed to. Um, and how they just sort of come to support each other, and he comes to support, you know, her ambitions. Uh, it's very good. Very good fantasy series. Uh, the art's just so-so, but other than that, I really enjoyed the series. I think another of this author's series just got licensed, so I'm interested in checking that out. Uh, next we have Volume 2 and Volume 4 of Blood Blockade Battlefront. Um, I loved this anime so much. And these were the only volumes they had, unfortunately, but they were cheap, so I got them because I am planning on picking up this series. I really want to read all the stuff that's not in the anime, which mostly focuses on Leonardo's arc and the anime original story of Black and White, which I thought was very good. But, uh, I'm very interested in learning about the other characters, so, yeah. Um, next we have, uh, continuing to collect a series that I have been collecting, which is Series Celestial Legend. I got Volume 5, Volume 6. Uh, volume 7. And Volume 8. Not much to say about that. I've been collecting this series, and now I have, what, six volumes left? Not very much at all. Then we have, uh, from Fumi Yoshinaga, who is a goddess who can do no wrong, uh, her autobiography about going to Tokyo restaurants with her friends. Not love, but delicious food make me so happy. Which might be the most relatable title of any manga ever. I'm so excited to read this. I love Fumi Yoshinaga. And speaking of her, I actually got this title. Garden, Garden Dreams. Uh which appears to be a one-shot. I've actually never seen it before, so um, I'm very interested in it. I think it's BL, just judging by the back, but it's not marked as such. But I don't care, because her BL is good too. I don't uh, like her BL as much as her newer Jose stuff and Seinen stuff, like What Did You Eat Yesterday, but it's still Yoshinaga, and it's still good, so I'm very interested in reading this, especially since I've never seen it before. Then we have, very exciting, completing a series, uh, X Day, Volume 2. This series is only two volumes long, but I'm happy to have it completed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read this and probably do a review on this series as well. And I got... Sand Chronicles, Volume 1. This series is only 10 volumes long. It was one of the first series I ever read, uh, but it's actually still one of my favorites, and uh, I'm happy to have Volume 1. Can't wait to collect more. Uh, this is a beautiful shoujo series that almost feels like Jose because of its sort of mature and nuanced handling of, you know, complex themes of the passage of time and moving on, um, and just sort of the bittersweetness of growing up and uh, 
moving away from your friends and your old, you know, loves. Uh, and finally, we have Kaze Hikaru, Volume 1, and Volume 2. I was so excited that they had the first two volumes of these because this series uh, has a lot of volumes that are out of print, uh, but it's a very, very good series. Um, I remember reading it back when it was in Shoujo Beat, so... Uh, kind of a historical drama about a cross-dressing heroine who is a, like, a samurai or something. And, uh, very happy to have it. It says, a historical romance set in the time of Rurouni Kenshin, which might date it a little bit. That's kind of funny. So yeah, I don't think I can even pick all of these up, so... I'm gonna go ahead and turn my laptop so you can see them. There they all are. That is too much manga. But that's okay. I'm so excited to read all of this. You don't even know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching me spend all my money on manga. <laughs> uh, yeah, have a great day.